right, y'all, what's up? Thank you to Hair Spells for sending me this Brazilian loose wave hair. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to hide the knots on your lace without bleaching them. Also, what exactly am I doing when I show you guys how to do a seamless lace closure? What is it exactly that I'm doing? I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to show it to you. So just stay tuned. Of course, you're going to still pluck. We're going to skip the whole bleaching the knot stage, but we're still going to pluck the lace. I get that question a lot. Do you bleach the knots? Do you bleach the knots even though you put makeup? Do you bleach the knots even though you use lace tint? Yes, you're still going to bleach the knots. Anything you see me doing nine times out of ten, ten times out of ten, I bleach the knots unless you see the video specify otherwise. If I do not specify that I did not bleach the knots, then I bleach the knots. That's like an automatic thing for me to do. However, we're just going to skip that step because I know a lot of you don't know how to bleach knots and it's just quicker to not bleach the knot sometimes but you're going to use a liquid foundation first i showed you the number and the color that i'm using in this exact clip after you use the liquid you're going to proceed with using a powder i made this wig with the hot glue gun method if you haven't seen my video on that, feel free to check it out. It's so easy that my husband can do it, literally. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And feel free to try this technique at home. If you cut straight across, that's another question I get. Why do you cut zigzag? If you cut straight across, you're going to be able to tell very, very easily that you cut it straight across. When you cut it, jagged like a zigzag motion it doesn't automatically come off like oh she has a lace on but this little piece that i'm cutting off i'm cutting it diagonally and this must be done if you want a seamless closure because if you leave this little piece on it's going to be like a bumpy area on like on the front of your closure like it's kind of hard to explain i don't know why i do this i just I just did it one day and I haven't stopped doing it. This is just something that I do that makes the closure looks more natural. This is what I'm cutting off for you guys that are always asking me what exactly am I cutting off. So that's the little piece that I'm cutting off. It's like a part of the closure, but I really don't like to leave it there because it makes it look humpy in this area when you do your baby hairs. Then you're going to go ahead and just use your mousse comb the hair as you usually would you know comb it in mold it down then you're going to cut your baby hair and mold them y'all know i'm all about showing you guys different techniques I never really do this on my channel with using the brush, the little toothbrush, whatever it is that they that I got, you know, at the hair store. And some hair, hair companies send it to me, but I just never use it. But this is um, honestly easy to use. If you're a beginner, I recommend that you use this first, but I'm just so comfortable using the comb. So I just use the comb. But that comes with practice. I always tell you guys do what works best for you. After you've created your baby hair, you're going to go ahead and get your head wrap and mold the baby hair down. Blow dry, blow dry, blow dry until it's dry. Right now, I'm going to show you guys how you define your part. Make sure you get an angled brush and make sure you pinch it very, very skinny so it would be, you know, like a, a skinny line. You don't want it to be wide open. 
and it leaves you with a like a wide part with makeup all over your hair you want it to be skinny 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 once you put the makeup on the part you're going to go ahead and get a comb and just rub it in I love big wild hair. I've never had loose wave before and this is really, really cute. I've had this edge control for a few months now and it works really, really good. I'm just gonna get that same brush, stick it inside of the edge control and just form my baby hair completely. You can, do, you can use them with the mousse, but with this look, I just decided to use the edge control to give it like a completely formed look. And that's pretty much it. This is what the ending results look like up close. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you. And I hope you use these techniques. Follow my steps and it'll be, be very, very easy for you. See you next time. Bye.